Hello everyone, it's Old Butter Bob coming to you with another video. This is going to be a quick video to show you about my little fatty coffee. I always talk about fatty coffee because I don't like the bulletproof coffee. Nothing wrong with it. I just personally don't like it. And uh, I don't like giving $5 for frothy coffee at uh, a Starbucks either. So uh, I've tried to figure out a way to caveman uh, like a Starbucks flat white. And uh, I went and bought one of these Mr. Coffee uh, espresso things. It's got this little thing on the side that's supposed to froth stuff. Well, I can't figure it out. So <laughs> I came up with another way to do it, and, I, and it's pretty easy. So I'm going to show you what to do about it. Remember, guys, don't, don't overdo on the coffee. You know, during fasting times, take it easy on it. Maybe one to get you by an extra three or four hours. Maybe two on a 24-hour fast. Take it easy on it, but it's such a delicious thing to have first thing in the morning. So I'm going to get started. All right, I've got this cup that my daughter will not let me use. It is my cup. No one's allowed to touch it. I don't wash it about half the time because it's my <laughs> cup. So we're not going to be using this cup today because it's old and decrepit like me. <laughs> And I've got my handy dandy spoon that no one also is allowed to use. And that's how I measure my heavy whipping cream. So here we go. I'm going to use this fancy glass cup that I never drink out of. But you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see uh, really better what this does. I use four little spoons of this heavy whipping cream. Put my spoon in there so I can wash it later. And then I caveman it with this uh, little blender with one little thing in there. And I just whip, whip, whip. You can see it's getting thicker and thicker. So I have to look it up real good and thick. See how thick it is? Let's take my whipper out. <laughs> I like my coffee good and strong, so I take two scoops of this high dollar for Folgers coffee <laughs> and I pour it right in my little thing, two big heaping scoops, plug it in. You can make your coffee any way you want to. I fill my water up to the to the ring, pour it in there, turn it on. And you gotta put the lid on there or it'll steam your hands so good. <laughs> Alright, and we've got it turned on now, it's gonna go. I'll put this in the refrigerator while we're waiting. As you can see, it's starting to fill up now. It's quick. It's good and strong, too. You really know it when you drink a cup of my coffee. Get that in there. We're going to pour it in our cup, and you're going to see I've got me kind of a poor man's Starbucks flat white with a frothiness in it. And boy, I'll tell you, the frothiness changed the taste of it. I don't know why, but it does. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. And it's steaming, steaming, steaming. This is the time you're supposed to be using this uh, thing here, but I have no idea how to do it. I've never successfully made a cup of coffee with it. <laughs> but I make this every day. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Get it out of there. Take that lid off. Just going to kind of go round and round with my cream. Pouring it in. Come in here a little bit. I'm pouring it in, pouring it in, pouring it in so I don't break up all the frothiness. And as you can see, look at all that good froth. Look at that. It's good too. Nothing special, but it's really good. Guys, I had a person write me the other day and they said, Bob, you're back. You're, you're making videos again. You're, you're back on your Facebook page again. You're really doing a lot. 
Well, a lot of you know, last year I experienced one of the hardest things that I've ever experienced in my entire life. And I almost quit. I almost quit doing videos or my Facebook and everything because I just didn't feel like much of an inspiration. But my kids, they pushed me. I said, Dad, you've helped too many people. You have made a difference in people's lives and you can't quit. So I'm making these videos in the honor of my little grandson, Liam, and I'm doing it maybe for you too and for me. We can help each other. We can make this world a better place. One little coffee at a time. Thanks for watching.